is where Franz Lena stored his fortune, a prime harvest at top prices. This is the grain store. It's empty. We've sold the grain. We got fantastic prices. We're finally getting the prices we used to get in the 1980s, and even a bit higher. And compared with last year, we've seen an increase of, I'd say, 70 percent, 60 percent. Franz Lena took over the farm from his father. It's a real family business. For years, prices for wheat and foodstuffs were at rock bottom. Now he says things are back to normal and the hard work is paying off again. The price have I bestimmt verdient. I've certainly earned these prices. When I think about what you can make from grain, our daily bread comes from our wheat, so the grain should be priced accordingly. Of course it costs consumers more, but the farmers don't get the full amount paid by the consumers. Wheat prices have gone through the roof over the past few months, much to Lena's surprise. He said no one could have expected it to happen to this extent. Now he's looking forward to the next harvest. His winter wheat is doing well. There's been a slight increase in grain growing in Europe, but is it worth switching exclusively to wheat? Difficult to say. Verlockend is es it's certainly tempting, but on the other hand, I'm committed to other crops, potatoes and sugar beets, for example. I've signed contracts for them, so I have to fulfill them. The local farmers sell their wheat to the Raiffeisen Agricultural Cooperative in Straubing. Not always at a daily price, but to be on the safe side at an average annual price. Franz Lena and the store's manager hope that the high prices will hold, along with steady global demand. All the same, I think weather will play a much stronger role. If we have periods of drought in Europe or some other large region, that will have a much greater influence on the price than if we were to increase what we grow by a couple of percent. We'll also see considerably higher price volatility, increasing price fluctuations, which means both increased risk and increased opportunities as well. The farmers are used to following the dictates of a global market and international routes, even here in Straubing. Where is this grain going to? This truck is going to Rosenmühle, to Landshut. You export abroad, right? We export abroad as well, mainly to Italy for pasta production. Quality wheat from the granaries of Lower Bavaria en route to the world. And right now, it's fetching record prices.